Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. So you just bought your new MacBook and it works all fine and dandy. You go to your storage and you're proud to see that your storage isn't taking much of space. Well, it takes some of your app space and your mail and all of that, but it's not that alarming. After a few months of use, you find out that this gray bar is growing and growing and there's no hole on it. It's just ballooning up and you don't know where it's coming from. Well, this video is all about this. I'm, I'm gonna show you how to remove this system data junk that's been accumulated into your Mac the past couple of months. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So we all know our apps are taking up storage. That's nothing crazy under the sun. Well, we have mail also, we have developer, documents. That's all thing that we have control of. If we don't want to use an app anymore, we just go to the application store and we delete that. But what about this system data? It's not showing up in your Mac, at least not on the surface because you can't find it anywhere. But this video will show you exactly how to do that. The first thing I want you to do is to go and click on this button, Manage. Crazy, right? It's very easy. I know some of you might have done that, but in a second, I'll show you a more advanced technique to go and dig deeper into your Mac. So bear with me right there. So the very first thing, like I said, click on that button and you have in a glance, you can see what application are taking most of your space. So we have Xcode is taking a whopping 20 gigabyte of space of size. I don't use Xcode. Once I thought to make an iOS app, um, I've downloaded Xcode and since then I haven't used it that much. By the way, if you don't know what Xcode is, it's an environment made by Apple to enable developers to create iOS apps. But let's go and see if this is the actual side of Xcode. If we go to the App Store, uh, let me type it right there and we look for Xcode. Oh, that's so Xcode. Let me type it right. So this is the actual app. If we scroll down, we see that the actual size of Xcode is just 12 gigabyte. That's seven gigabyte less than our application right here. Why is that? Well, the reason for that is because your application are accumulating junk and all of that junk is eventually that system data that we've just saw. So you need to get rid of that. Well, this is very easy. You might not have Xcode, so this is not applicable for you. But if we just go to developer, ah, we see here Xcode caches are taken up to nearly 10 gigabyte of storage. So you can delete that by hitting this delete button. If you are a developer and you are developing an iOS app, don't do that because you might be losing valuable files. If you have, like me, downloaded Xcode or any other app that's accumulating caches and you haven't used that application since forever, you can just, just go ahead and delete that junk. Because if I delete this junk right here, I get rid of my caches, but I haven't deleted the actual application. So that's something that's cool about this manage area. You can just delete some of the caches, but not all. There is a lot of caches in your Mac that needs to be cleaned up. And that's what we will talk about in a second. So let's go ahead and see what's more in this place. Well, we have our bin. We can empty our bin by just clicking on this button or we can open our actual bin and hit an empty and all your junk will be removed from your bin. Make sure to walk through all your files that you've deleted in the past, just to make sure that you don't need any of those files. So let's go further. We have our documents. So if we go to finder and head over to documents, we see here all my um, folders that I've created in the past. So I'm not interested into deleting any of those. So you can keep that or you can go over any file that you've forgotten about. You can just store it by, you can just filter it by size that you get the biggest files up at top and at first and at one glance you can see what files you can delete or not and if you want to delete any of, and if you want to delete all of these files you hit just command A. By the way, if I hit a shortcut, it shows right up here. It's an application that's made by Ryan Hansen. So shout out to this developer. He made an excellent application just to enable me to show you my shortcuts in a glance. So you hit command A and all these files are selected. You go over to delete and delete all those. But once again, just go over your files to make sure that all these files are just junk. We go to mill. Well, we saw that that's almost nine gigabyte of storage. So I'll leave that because I might have some important mill over there. 
uh, we can't even delete it at, from this place. So I'll just leave it. Music, it's not shockingly much. It's just almost a half gigabyte of storage. So let's go further. Music creation, I don't even create music on this Mac. So it stored 6.4 gigabyte of junk once again. We want to delete that, so I'm gonna delete it. And with that, I've also deleted Guitar Hero. So here's the thing, I'm not using Guitar Hero to record my voiceovers or any of that, so I don't need it. So I've just deleted for the sake of it. I'm not using it anymore, so I've deleted that. If you're using any of your application, make sure to not go blindly and delete those. So this is this manage area that we've just talked about. But still, this gray bar is just a whopping 100 gigabyte out of storage. So how to get delete of all of that. So the second thing I want you to do is head over to your finder and hit command shift G. That's, this is the shortcut command shift G and you get this window. And in this window, you want to type this symbol. It's right next to your shift key on the left side of your keyboard. You hit slash and you go to library and some people might tell you to hit another slash and go to caches and you can now delete all of this junk but if we hit command a if we go to caches and hit command a we see that's a whopping 44 gigabyte of storage that's a lot guys that's a lot but most of my stores because i've checked that out before making this video is going to Adobe. Adobe is just a monster when it comes to accumulating junk in your MacBook. So you need to go over your Adobe caches every time or every few months or every few weeks uh, if you are a, a, an Adobe user. Uh, so make sure to delete that thing that you don't need. So if we go and look to Adobe, like I said, 44 or 40, almost 44 gigabytes of storage. If we go to After Effects, I'm not using After Effects anymore. So After Effects alone is taking up to 42 gigabytes of storage. Since I'm not using Adobe anymore, I'm just go go ahead and hit Command Backspace and there's that. I'm going to my bin, empty this bin, hit Enter and I'm not having it anymore. So if we go and look now into my caches, hit Command A, or I need to go to my caches, hit Command A, and now it's just half a gigabyte of storage. 40 items, not shockingly much, not, not shockingly much, it's just some caches that's been accumulating into my Mac for the past couple of months, such as Safari, CloudKit, uh, Animoji, stuff that you actually don't need once again, don't go crazy by deleting all of these files. Make sure there's nothing that's just alarming you or you think, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to delete that, such as Google. Google Chrome is also accumulating some of that junk. It's not shockingly much. If we go and see, it's 250 megabytes of storage. You can just go ahead, click on your caches, hit Command A and backspace that. Um, I know I don't. I'm not gonna use any of this junk anymore. So yeah, this is the place where you find all, all those caches that are accumulating into your Mac. So if we go once again to about this Mac, go to storage, and now it's been calculating. Well, we see here that our system data is shrunk down to just, just below 60 gigabyte. So that's a good sign, meaning that we are doing a good job. But where is this remaining 60 gigabyte coming from? Well, that's something I've just discovered right before making this video, is that if we go to library and click on this icon right here, that's turning our uh, maps, that's turning our folders into a list view. Now we have a glance into what is taking up that much of space. We see here that mobile documents are taking up to 50 gigabytes of storage. What in the world is this mobile documents folder actually? So if we go and go back to this column view and we go to mobile documents, now it's not up top, it's right here. And this folder looks very familiar to me. We have drafts, we have GarageBand, Keynote numbers, personal pictures, try to stack, university, Okay, so this looks an awful lot like my iCloud, iCloud drive. And it is. I've been thinking that 
that 200 almost I'm paying monthly for my storage. And I've chosen that 200 gigabyte of 299. I'm not sure how much. And I thought all of that time that's been stored in the cloud somewhere at a data center that's managed by Apple. But apparently Apple is storing this iCloud drive into your storage. And the sad thing about this, you can't do anything about it. Reason for this is because there is a difference between backing up data and syncing data between your devices. And what Apple do does is basically syncing your devices, such as your iPhone, your MacBook, your iMac, your iPad, and all of that to each other. So whenever I'm creating a picture and I'm storing it into this folder, into the iCloud drive, it's been synced up between all those devices. So all those devices are communicating with each other thanks to this iCloud drive. But the downside of this thing here is that it stores data into your iCloud, uh, into your storage. So it uses your hard, hard drive to store all that, all that data. And the only thing that you get out of it is that it syncs all your devices together. So yeah, the sad thing about it, you can't do much. Yeah, you can go over to your folders and you might be deleting some of some of the things you don't need anymore. But in my case, I do need a lot of these things. And yeah, the sad thing about this is that I'm having 60 gigabyte of system data and it's ballooning over time. Like you see here, 63.38 and maybe in a couple of minutes like now, 60, 63.43 gigabyte and it's going up 46 and it's going up and up and up. So that's what you need to do every time uh, like in a month or so, go back to your iCloud drive or go back to your finder. Once again, hit command shift G and hit and uh, click on the symbol that's right next to your shift key, hit slash, type in library. And you don't have to type in caches, you can just go ahead and uh, hit uh, enter. And now you have uh, access to this place where you find a lot of your caches, a lot of the things that you don't need anymore. Just go over to these files and understand what you need to delete and whatnot. So you don't need a fancy application for all of this. I need to say I'm using um, Clean My Mac X. That's an application that kind of do this for you automatically. I just have to hit scan and just uh, clean up all of that junk that's accumulating on my uh, on my Mac. This is not a sponsored video. I don't know these guys, but it's a good up application. The best thing about this application is that you pay for it one time and you get all of those updates for free. So it's not a recurring program, at least not, not at the time I've bought this application. Let's see. They have one year subscription. Okay, no, 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 I'm sorry. They have a one-time purchase. And if you have just one Mac, you uh, can buy it for $70 or uh, 72 euros, it says here. Um, once again, I'm not affiliated with these guys. So yeah, I don't have any coupon for you guys. I'm sorry, but it seems like it is on sale right now. So yeah, you don't have to, once again, you don't have to use this application. You can just go do it manually. Like I showed you, uh, you can just go to this manage storage manage button and you can delete some of your files that you're not using. This is the easier way. Uh, if you want to delete an application, by the way, this is also the best way to do that. Just go here, hit manage, go to your application. Uh, let's say I'm not using, let's see, uh, iMovie. Let's say I'm not using iMovie anymore. So I go and hit delete and that application gets deleted. iMovie will be removed out of your storage. So don't go to Finder, uh, Application, click on any application, hit Command Backspace. That's not the right thing. That's not the right way to delete an application. Just do it from this window. Uh, also, you can just remove some of the caches. And if you want to dig deeper into your Mac, just go ahead and hit Command Shift G, type in this right here. I'll leave it in the description down below just that you guys can just copy it and paste it in this uh, place. Yeah, that's it. I hope you've liked this video. Please leave a big thumbs up. That helps me a lot. Subscribe to this channel. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.